And right now, the man accused of terrorizing women in Miami's trendy Brickell neighborhood remains behind bars, but he has posted bond and could be walking out of jail any moment now. Local 10's Hatzel Bell, live down in West Miami-Dade with what he's learned today. Hatzel. So, Calvin, as he walks out of jail, we are hopeful that we'll be able to chat with him and ask him about these serious allegations. In fact, according to the police report, one of the victims told police she was so scared of him that she did not even want to go to the police in the first place. The stories from the victims are frightening. They say Edger for Onyeki has created fear in their lives. I've been terrified of him. I get chills just thinking about it. This woman too shaken to reveal her identity. She says she's scared of seeing Onyeki lurking near her home. And the arrest report seems to back those claims. In fact, one victim told police on October 26, the defendant forced his way inside of the victim's apartment building and started to follow the victim towards the elevator. The victim stated she started to scream at the defendant to stop following her to leave her alone. <laughs> Here's cell phone video capturing police arresting Onyeki on Friday near Brickell Avenue in Southeast 10th Street. Every time I walked out, he seemed to be around the area, following me around the block with very little personal space in a very creepy, eerie way. Another victim sharing her story, telling us that she's had several chilling encounters with the suspect. All of a sudden, I feel hot breath on my neck, and um, it was... Very fast but slow to me. Uh, I turned my face and his face was centimeters from my face. He was sniffing me. Both women say Onyeki would wait for them outside their Brico condo before confronting them on the sidewalk. The harassment, she says, continued for months. In the morning, this is full daylight, early, early morning, and he would not listen to us to get away. We were talking, having a conversation, and he was standing right next to us. Stalking, trespassing, those are some of the charges that he's facing, and the judge told them in bond court to stay away from the victims. Reporting live from West Miami-Dade, I'm Hatsovala, Local 10 News.